Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday, so it's grocery haul day, one of my favorite days of the week. I may be considered odd, but I love to grocery shop. I like to walk up and down the aisles, see what's new, see what works into my plan. I just love going to the grocery store. So this week I ended up going to Walmart and Trader Joe's. I have some new food finds, a great dessert idea for Easter. It's just going to be an excellent haul. After the haul, I'll share my meal plan and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep you're not gonna wanna miss out. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me, and of course, lets me know to keep putting out these grocery hauls every single Saturday. If you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd absolutely love to have you. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss another video. Down in the description box, you're going to find my meal planner. This is your last chance to order that. Once the batch I have is gone, it is gone, you guys, until next year. So pick one up to help plan your meals. It's perpetual, so you can start and stop at any time definitely grab one before they're gone. While you're on my nutrition coaching website, you'll find my macro and calorie calculation. This has been a big hit. A lot of you have had me do your macros and calories and have told me that you have never lost more weight than after you follow the macros that I gave you. So I highly recommend taking advantage of this service. It's super, super affordable. Also on my nutrition coaching site, you'll find one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one support, I'd love to chat with you, set some goals, help you reach them. You can order that in both a 30 or 60 minute session. Also in the description box, you'll find links and discount codes to all of my very favorite things. And of course my Facebook group, a community that would love to have you. So head on over and join us there. So we have a grocery haul to do a meal plan and meal prep to go over. So let's get started. It's grocery haul time. This week I went to both Walmart and Trader Joe's. I have some new food finds, lots of good stuff, plus a fun Easter dessert idea. So let's jump into the grocery haul. I picked up some 1% milk for Troy. Now that he's off on medical leave, he's not working. And if you didn't know, he works at a dairy. So he actually gets free milk, but because he's off of work, he's not getting milk right now. So I had to pick up a gallon for him. Mozzarella cheese for a couple of dinner recipes. I was going to get it at Trader Joe's and then I ended up just getting it at Walmart. I prefer the organic one from Trader Joe's, but this is much more affordable. And at Walmart, I saw this fun Easter dessert idea so we're going to have Easter dinner here at our house so this is the Easter version of fun Fetty cake mix with candy bits and it looks like it's more it's a white cake but it looks like it has a little bit of yellow they also have the little matching frosting the fun Fetty vanilla frosting with these cute little Easter sprinkles so I was going to buy sprinkles separately but it came with the frosting so I'm going to make an Easter bunny shaped cake so that's a really fun super easy Easter dessert idea to Two cans of black olives. I'm making Troy's famous, famous pasta salad. If you guys are interested in that recipe, it is not WW friendly, but if you're interested in it, let me know and I'll add it to my website. If it's something that you'd want to make for your family or a barbecue, it is a really delicious salad, but like I said, it's not WW or calorie friendly. He also asked for a couple of cans of soup while he's off of work. So this is the Chick Arena, chicken soup with meatballs. Meatballs made from pork and turkey. And he also requested tomato basil. I'm assuming he's wanting to make grilled cheese. Healthy request, cream of mushroom soup for a dinner recipe. A can of petite diced tomatoes and a can of crushed fire roasted tomatoes. Both of these are for dinner. New coffee creamer alert, new oatmeal cream pie. Doesn't that look so good and sound so good? I'm excited to try this. It just came in the small one. So I picked it up and we'll see what we think. One third less fat cream cheese. This is for a couple of dinner recipes. French fried onions also for a recipe. I picked this one up because it has the nice resealable lid and I'm not using this whole thing in a recipe. And I feel like the bags go bad. So I'm glad that I picked this up because you don't use French fried onions that often. I will say they're a very nice addition for crunch factor to a salad though. A big block of extra sharp cheddar. This is for Troy's pasta salad. I needed to restock a couple of meat. So I picked up two pounds of the 96.4 extra lean ground beef and two pounds of the 99% 
lean ground turkey. I wanted the Simply one, but they were out. So I did just grab two of the Jenny O's. Turkey pepperoni for snacks. This is a great way, you guys, to get in some protein. One of my favorite things to do is pair this with a string cheese. It's low calorie, low point, and packed with protein. New find at Trader Joe's, the organic banana fruit spread. 30 calories for a tablespoon. And you know what I was thinking? How good would this be in oatmeal or added to a smoothie? So I'm excited for this. I'll let you guys know what I think in a future video, or maybe I'll make an oatmeal recipe and you know what I eat in a day. But I thought this sounded really good. I heard that it's not as sweet as you may think. Some more, I can't believe it's not butter spray. Troy loves to add this to his vegetables. I grabbed another pack of the chimichangas, the beef, bean, and cheese. Troy loves these. And he requested that these be added to his lunch ideas. Beef broth, this is for a dinner recipe as well as for my meal prep. I need raisins for a recipe. And again, I'm thinking longevity. I thought these boxes would be a better option. It's portion controlled as well because I do love raisins and oatmeal. And this way they're portioned out and Troy really likes raisins as well. So when he returns to work or for an easy snack, he can grab one of these little boxes. He specifically requested elbows for his pasta salad. So I picked up the Barilla. I would have used fiber gourmet, but I'm out of elbows. And that was the specific shape that he wanted for his salad. New to me find at Trader Joe's is this unsweetened almond cashew and macadamia nut beverage. I was pretty excited to find this. It does not have carrageenan in it. I had to search you guys through several almond milks to find one that didn't have carrageenan, but it is also one point or 30 calories per cup. I'm excited to try this. I needed whole milk for a recipe. I do like to cook with whole milk. I think it definitely adds to the creaminess of the dishes. Repeat purchase. I bought these once before, the Nubu Nut butter bites. They're not the most point friendly. Now they're not bad in calories, but they're so good. You guys, it tastes like the soft peanut brittle. It's that delicious. So I had to pick them up again. It is 130 calories per serving. So if you're counting calories, it's a perfect amount for a sweet treat. Troy also asked for some lean cuisine. So I picked up the Vermont white cheddar mac and cheese. He also loves the lasagna with meat sauce. And of course you can't go wrong with chicken fettuccine. I need a cubed ham or cut up diced ham for his salad. I'm literally obsessed with these mini baguettes. These are so great. If you can't control yourself portion wise around bread, this is a great option because not only is it portion controlled, it's a good size baguette for three smart points and it is delicious. I pop it in my oven at 400 for about five minutes. It gets nice and crispy. And again, I love that I can have my favorite bread just portioned out for me. So I picked up two. They are in the frozen section. I just didn't know how long they'd be at Trader Joe's and I didn't want to miss out. So I grabbed two more packs. I needed chicken sausages for a dinner recipe. This is my all time favorite. This huge sausage is only two points. This has fantastic ingredients. So good that it's Whole30 approved. So if you can find these at your Walmart, highly recommend. Tis the season. I know I had to get a Reese's egg. I really just wanted the traditional Reese's egg, but they didn't have them. So this is the Reese's pieces egg. So that it might even be a little bit better. 160 calories per egg. I'm sure it's not very point friendly, but listen, you only get these one time a year. They are pre-portioned out, pre-wrapped, so I won't overeat them. So of course I had to pick them up for Easter. Another pack of sliced cheese for Troy's meat, cheese, and crackers. Yes, he's still on that kick. I decided to pick up some Cleo bars. You guys, it's been a minute and I forgot how much I loved Cleo bars and I have been craving them. So I picked up two strawberry and two vanilla. I love the vanilla, it's my favorite, but I do also equally like the strawberry, but I would say if I had to choose, it would definitely be the vanilla. Italian style breadcrumbs, I needed those for a dinner recipe. Another bag of the organic corn chips. Troy loves these. He's still using these in that French onion dip I picked up for him a couple of weeks ago and I feel better that he's at least eating organic corn even though these aren't cooked in the best oil at least it's organic corn another thing I haven't bought in a while are the Thomas mini croissants both Troy and I love these they're just the perfect size where you can still have a croissant but not blow your points in calories so I picked up another bag of those oh and by the way these freeze really well two of the full fat Siggy's vanilla yogurts I bought these a few weeks ago and Re it reminded me how much I love this yogurt. It's so thick and creamy and decadent. It's well worth the points. It's nice, clean ingredients, and it's full fat. So you're getting in all your dairy nutrients. I have to say this is probably my favorite yogurt. Everything else is produce. I did pick up a bag of organic limes and organic lemons for my water. I'm completely out. Another thing of green onions. This goes in Troy's salad, and then it's also called for in a dinner recipe. It's been a while since I bought the organic Mediterranean style salad kit from 
from Trader Joe's. I really like this salad kit. It is romaine lettuce, shredded broccoli, radicchio, celery, seasoned flatbread, feta cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, roasted chickpeas, and a red wine vinaigrette. It is 110 calories for a cup, which is not bad. And I thought this would make a super easy dinner or lunch. Some organic mushrooms for a recipe. Lemon juice because I was completely out. I'm also out of onions and I love these organic sweet onions from Trader Joe's. It's $2.80 for a whole bag of them and they are seriously so, so delicious. And then I stocked up my frozen veggies because we're also completely out. So two bags of the California blend, a bag of the mixed veggies, and then a bag of broccoli florets. And lastly, my favorite apples pretty much ever are these organic Autumn Glory apples from Trader Joe's. They're like a sugary, cinnamony, caramel apple. They are so good. They are all of those things. It tastes, I taste the caramel, the cinnamon. They're so sweet and delicious. And I believe that they are seasonal. So I decided to pick up another bag at Trader Joe's. So that's everything for this week's grocery haul. Now I'm going to share with you guys what is on my meal plan and what amazing recipes you'll be seeing on Monday in meal prep. Here is my meal planner. It's beautiful. You guys have been absolutely loving it. Don't forget to make sure you pick it up before it's gone because again, this is the last batch of the meal planner. There's a meal planner tab and there's also a notes tab. There's a monthly calendar for you to track your meals for the entire month or really anything going on in your life. And then there is a weekly section called on the menu where you can plan all of your meals or just dinners, whatever you prefer. And then the detachable grocery list you take with you to the grocery store. And the notes tab are fully lined sheets of paper for you of course to take notes on anything that you would like so definitely pick up the meal planner before it's gone here's this week's meal plan this is the week of March 13th through the 19th you guys were almost through March already this year is flying by is anyone else with me on that because I feel like it should still be January and it's already almost the end of March today Saturday is a leftovers day or we go out for dinner just kind of whatever we choose to do on Saturday Sunday I'm making turkey sausage penne in a creamy tomato sauce. Stay tuned for this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. You're not going to want to miss that one. Monday, I'm doing a meatball parmesan, and then we'll pair that with some potatoes and vegetables. Tuesdays, I work out at Jazzercise Tuesday night, so we just have leftovers. Wednesday, I'm doing a beef tenderloin and mushroom sauce. Troy gets tired of chicken, so I always try to throw at least one to two red meat options in the week. And then we're also doing a ground beef dinner with lean ground hamburger on Thursday. Friday is a leftover night as well, just so that we can finish up any leftovers from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday in meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm prepping some cinnamon roll overnight oats. These taste just like a Cinnabon cinnamon roll, but they're good for you. So I am so excited for this. It's a very light springy type of breakfast, not really heavy, but a great breakfast nonetheless. Lunch is a Mexi Mac skillet. So this is kind of a homemade taco hamburger helper, I guess is how you describe it. Super excited for that. And then for dessert, I'm making a cinnamon apple crisp. Troy asked for some type of an apple crisp and I found a really good low point, low calorie recipe. So I'll be making that as well. So stay tuned for all three of these on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope that you got some great new food find ideas as well as some inspiration for what to add to your grocery list. That's one of my favorite parts about not only making the grocery hauls, but watching them is getting tons and tons of new exciting food ideas. So if you enjoyed this grocery haul, of course, give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video, especially a Saturday grocery haul. Check out the description box down below for the meal planner, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to all of my very favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Don't forget to join us over there. That's where you're going to get the most up-to-date information, promotions. I do lots of fun giveaways and challenges on my Facebook group, so we'd absolutely love to have you. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday, a beautiful weekend, and I can't wait for tomorrow's video. It's a new one for me. And if you guys love it as much as I love it, it'll be a new series. So definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video and make sure your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss it. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you next time.